Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel Mastering Options Trading. Let's quickly review what we expected for today and how did the market behave. So basically we expected a double sided momentum and if you see first half an hour market was falling immediately recovered, went sideways, again in last one hour it fell, again it recovered. So there was a lot of volatility, right? Couple of important things, if you see 22,585 acted as the resistance several times, right? Even at the opening it opened at 22,577. But since then, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, close to 6 candles, it took a resistance at this level. But what worked very well is Bank Nifty. In the first candle itself, it broke 48,006. And if you go back and check yesterday's video, I mentioned that the moment it breaks 47,965 kind of levels, we can look for a target of 47,750. So clearly, it fell and hit the target um, in the morning itself, right? And not only that, if you see this level acted as a super level uh, because of the resistance and supports. So if you see it, even 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 candles tried to close above this. After it broke down, it tried to close above 47,750 but could not close. So this le level acted as a strong resistance, right? And then it market went up in the last half an hour. Now let's quickly look at the this move was close to 800 points. So expiry day, last half an hour or basically last one hour, you should be very cautious. So that uh, that is the thing uh, you should always keep in mind. What trades did I take? So if you remember in some of the, I think in one or two videos, I mentioned about three similar lows patterns. So three similar lows were formed here. So I entered around the, just before the closing of this candle. So I entered here and then there was an exponential moving average. I exited somewhere around this point, right? So that was one trade I took and then it was actually forming a W pattern if you can visualize here in this W pattern. So when it started to come down, I somewhere entered around 47,757, sorry 657 approximately that level I entered and I had put a stop loss below the low of this. Either it has to break 47,625 or close below the low of this bullish candle. Basically the W pattern, the low has to be broken right but that did not happen and market went up and again i booked around 47,750 kind of levels right uh, i did not do anything here because again i stay away from the same expiry options even here when i took two trades both were of the next week's expiry i don't prefer to trade on the same week's options uh, because it's a uh, more riskier so although reward is lesser i'm okay with that but risk is not something that I would like to uh, take more, right? I play on safety, right? Now quickly we'll go to the analysis for tomorrow. So index futures, some 9,000 reduction in longs by retailers, so it is bullish, but 8,000 addition of shorts by FIS, so it is bearish. So it's a mixed signal here. What is important is since it is nifty expiry, we'll focus more on options. Retailers have added huge call shots and both FIIs and pros have added call longs. So it is indicating bullishness. In terms of puts, retailers have reduced their put shots. So it is bullish and FIIs have slightly added put longs. So bearish, but pros have again reduced a decent quantity of put longs. So it is indicating bullishness. So clearly from index call segment and index put segment, it is indicating bullishness. Now we'll see in three scenarios, what should we do in the gap up, gap down and flat opening scenarios, right? So I'll quickly adjust the levels here. So what I generally like to do is um, basically where there is a lot of supports and resistances that will act as the support or resistance. So for tomorrow, 22,525 will be the first key support, right? So I'll mark this in green and we don't need this lower level. So I'll just remove it off. And now, if you can, if, what we'll do is instead of 22,585, we'll, okay, let's keep it at 22,585, that is fine. So it should open above 22,600, 605 and give a 15 minutes candle closing above this level. Then we can look for a target of 22,694. I hope you're able to see uh, 22,694 is here. So that should be the first target in case of flat opening and of 15 minutes candle close about 22600 right in case of uh, flat opening anywhere around uh, 
two things so if if it is between 20 to 524 and 20 to 590 then do not take any trade this is again going to be a sideways area because if you see so many candles have formed in this area so anything between 20 to 525 to 20 to 590 please avoid trade anything above that will look for a bullish trade anything below 20 to 525 will look for a bearish trade since the data is bullish so we we'll like we would hope for a flat opening and one closing above 20 to 600 then we can look for 20 to 700 as the target with a small stop loss you can either take 20 to 585 as the stop loss after that or uh, a little bit aggressive stop loss would be 20 to 525 right and in case of bank nifty i am keeping the levels more or less same 47750 will act as the first support and the resistance will come around 48006 the next support will be around 2047 let me draw this level yeah 47564 will act as the support and now this will turn into a resistance area so yeah anything around 47750 will look for a bullish trade with a small stop loss you can decide the stop loss at 47660 is the level i can see uh, anything below will be the stop loss so i hope this video is helpful so just let me summarize quickly anything between 20 to 520 and 590 no trade zone anything about 20 to 600 bullish anything below 20 to 520 bearish preferably we'll look for a bullish trade with a target of 20 to 700 with strict stop loss since it's a expiry date right i hope this video is helpful please do like share and comment thank you